All right, guys, how's it going? Um, I'm sure if you're a Kyosho fan, you've already seen that Kyosho has announced and released the new TKI2 for the MP10 platform. And uh, I'm definitely excited about it. I'm definitely gonna pre-order that car and get it as soon as I possibly can. And uh, we'll do like a, a build up, unboxing, all that cool stuff with that car. As I plan to do with the MP10e, but since they released the new car, I figured you know, it'd make for much better content with the new car being released to do it with the new car. So I'm gonna do that, but for now, um, I just went ahead and built the uh, MP10e, just put it together uh, so we can get it out of the way. So when the new car is available, we can go ahead and get it and do that stuff with that. But anyway, let's get to it. Pretty much built this kit out of the box as Kyosho intended. Um, I did do a slight modification to the front chassis brace and the rear chassis brace. But I'll quit rambling, I'll flip the camera around, give you guys some beauty shots, and uh, we'll go ahead and I'll explain what I've done with the chassis brace and stuff. But check it out real quick. But all right, that's pretty much it guys. Um, like I said, I built the car exactly how Kyosho tended to. Like I said, the only difference being titanium screws, titanium turnbuckles, like always. And I only do that just for the bling factor. I think it makes the car look a million times better. I don't do it for like weight reasons or anything like that. This is pretty much the, the pivot ball that Kyosho sends with their braces. Um, you have one in the front right here and one in the back. And of course they intended for you to use the plastic one like they send in the mp uh, the mp10 kit um it just kind of goes up right there and kind of runs down but to me with them not matching with having the plastic one in the back and the aluminum one in the front it just kind of looked out of place um so it, it just i don't know i started looking for something else to do and um just went rambling through my rc car parts spare parts I have laying around and this is actually the rear brace off of the uh, strr so it fit in perfect. I didn't have to modify it, change anything about it. It just bolt, it, it just bolted right in. So it was like no issue at all. Um, I did have to cut this, you know, this guy down uh, for the front and the, or for the, the center, both points. But as you see, it makes the, the chassis braces lay perfectly flat. So that it looks really good. But that's pretty much what I cut off the bottom of the brace just a little bit. Um, just cut it off and clean it up the best I could and then I just put a little metal washer up under it where it wouldn't like you know dig in where it wouldn't like dig into the metal and you know mess the uh, the brace up up there so um, yeah I'm pumped about it I think it turned out really good I just got to get some electronics ordered and we'll get this thing together but it's pretty much gonna be put on the back burner because I'm focusing all my time and effort on the new nitro car which nitro buggy is my main the main class that I actually care about, so. But all right guys, like I said, um, I tended to do like a really, not a really detailed, but just, um, you know, how I put my kits together, little things I do. Um, like I said, I'm not a professional, but I've been in the hobby for a very, very long time. And, um, you know, I manage, I get stuff done, have good results, I don't have any failures, or anything like that. But uh, I'm just gonna wait and do that with the later, with the newer kit when I, when I get it. But anyway, so I just went and put this together. But like I said, uh, enough of me rambling. I just wanted to kind of get y'all up to date and show y'all what, you know, the game plan, or tell y'all the game plan and stuff like that. But if you're interested in the new car, maybe like see an unboxing, um, see some of the difference. Like I have a brand new MP10 uh, still in the box. So when I get the TKI version, you know, I'm gonna show you side by side the parts they changed, um, the differences and stuff like that. So you kind of really get a good bit of information about what they changed and, 
we'll see what it affects. Um, Cause I still have my LP10. Um, it's still practically brand new. I rented it at one time at the track, which you guys seen. So I'm gonna do like, maybe like a head to head. We'll go to the track. Um, see if the guys will be nice enough to cut the timer assist, the timing system off for me. So out of the box MP10 built like Kyosho intended. Same way with the TKI built like they intended. No setup changes or nothing. Same engine, same servos, same driver, same day, same tires. And see if it gets a barrel. See if it gets a barrel lap time. I think that'd be a really cool video. So kind of budget out if it's actually worth the extra bit of money. Most tracks around here are like clay and kind of rough anyway. So that's what the car is supposed to be good at, I do believe. So. It should be interesting. But anyway, <laughs> I'm definitely looking forward to the new car coming out. Um, I think it's sick, and I know it's going to be a great car. But it'd just be kind of cool to see exactly the parts, you know, brand new parts side by side and see the difference. But, all right, that's enough of me rambling, guys. Um, I know this was kind of a quick uh, little video, but just kind of let you see the car, my electric car and how I built it. Like I said, we're trying to get wrapped up for the new year coming up. So hopefully we can do a lot of racing. And uh, should make for some great content. So please, please, it means the world to me. Make sure you subscribe and stick around. And I'll try to uh, make some great content for you guys. Mm -hmm.